What is your name? This is the old compadre, Johnny Goodman. Sit back and watch Casi Cochina. It's a good Italian show. Have a good time. That's right. Hey. Una bella voce, siamo una bella voce. Belliamo, festeggiamo insieme una bella voce, siamo una bella voce, gente dalle anni, lavoriamo, mangiamo, beviamo, cadiamo, belliamo, festeggiamo insieme una bella voce, siamo una bella voce. San St. Louis called the Tropicana, and I'd like to introduce to you somebody very, very special. Louis Trabanca. Traban. Hey, Vinica, Vinica. Come here. That's how, that's how you say it in Italian. How you say it in Vinica. Vinica. Anyway, beautiful, beautiful person here. I've been talking to him, and I found out some interesting, interesting things. Louis, tell me a little, Louis, excuse me. No tell us a little bit about the, <clears throat> your heritage. Well, we're originally um, Cuban. Uh, we've been in this country for more than uh, 23 years. And, um, you know, going on. And your grandfather and, uh, and your grandmother were in Cuba, and they had a store just like this. Right, my grandfather on my dad's side had various stores throughout Cuba. And then my grandfather on my mother's side also ran stores you know, that were in the family. Now you had a dream and, and opened this door down here on uh, Hereford and uh, Lindawood. That's correct. And I found out something very interesting about the, your grandfather's last name. Uh, well, I found out when I was at the University of Missouri that uh, I had a professor who knew a lot about last names. He told me what, what was a Cuban doing with a first French name, a second name that was Jewish and a last name that was Italian. I said, I don't know. All I know is that I'm, you know, I'm Cuban. Um, my hair, you know, my grandparents have, or great grandparents came from Spain. Um, I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, you know. Maybe they came from Italy or something, you know, but anyway, this, this, this all American guy right here is what we say. Always be proud of your heritage, be proud of your nationality and follow your dreams. And really educate them about the Italian traditions. And uh, like I said, I asked you before, but like, what your father and your mother are doing? They worked for 21 years building this place up, and they left it to their their proud sons and daughters to, to work. And they're retired now, right? Well, they're semi-retired. Pop still comes around and checks up on us, make sure everything's all right. That's all right. You know, it's it's, it's still, a it's still the king of the family. That's all right. The king. Of the Italian people. That's all right. Get a shot of the sosita down here. Get a shot of the sosita. Fresh every day. Tutti giorno. And this is Luganaga, this is Luganaga right here, Sazitsa. What the, this is a hot Italian sausage. Mmm. Caldo. Caldo. Right. They, they got the homemade pizzas here. They've got the tortellinis, they got the raviolinis. Look at this, Jimmy. Madre mia. I'm gonna tell you what. They've, they've got the, is this? This is a, one of the prides of our, of our tradition here is homemade spadinis. Oh, yeah, I've had this before. I, I make my own spadinis, but every once in a while, I don't feel like a cooking. I get these spadinis. They're great. It's real simple. Saute them in a white wine sauce and a skillet. They come out excellent. Makes a perfect meal with the salads and Italian bread. You've got a perfect meal. Imagine me. You got everything that you want that you couldn't need. I'm gonna tell you what. Here we are. 
start down here onto the hill. You know, I pass this place every single day, and I wanted to take you on a little tour of this place. I'm so happy to be here. Lou Amagetti and Marge Amagetti. From a dream, they make this place world famous. That's right. And I want to take you. Come on, come on in with me, please. Per favor, bendica. down here at the world-famous Amagettis on the hill. They bake their bread fresh daily. And as you can see, this is about ready to go into the oven. It needs about 10 minutes. I talked to the baker. It needs about 10 minutes to recover, and then they put it into the oven. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce to you Marge Amagetti. Marge Amagetti is responsible, one of the people that are re is responsible besides Lou Amagetti, Marge's husband for Amagettis. People come from all over the world to this place to try their Amagetti special, as well as their homemade pastas, their lasagna, to be specific. Marge Amagetti, how are you? Fine, thank you, Keith. And it's very nice to have you here, so I hope that we give an insight to what really makes Amagetti so popular and that we're here to really satisfy our customers because it's a great thrill to be a part of the Hill and of St. Louis, and, and it's nice to have you here today. Thank you so much. You know, Marge, I want to tell you something. Marge made the very first am, world-famous Amagetti sandwich. And she started out of a little window on the side, and she's got a bigger place, and we're gonna sh I'm going to show you. Marge, how many sandwiches do you think that we've that you've done here? Well, I believe if I was really given the opportunity to put all the ham and beef and salami that I purchased since 1969 and put my sandwiches end to end, I think that I would pretty much compete with McDonald's, and I'm not kidding, because I started in 1969 and I developed my Amagetti special in 1972, and from there it just took off, and thanks to the news media here in St. Louis, but it's just untold the number that we've done over the years. And, and I'm standing here in, in all due honesty. I believe that if we took our sandwiches and was able to lay them in, then we could pretty well stretch them across the country and then some. Uh, tell us about your lasagna and your homemade pasta. Well, you know, you can have the best sandwich in the world, and you can have the best bread in the world, but as time goes on, you have to spice your menu with something that will complement what you're doing. And so it was a little over a year ago that I decided that it was time for us to develop our own pasta sauce and add a, a spaghetti menu to what we have today. So uh, I have three pastas that I offer, and we have a white sauce that we make ourselves, and we have a meat sauce, and then it's really hard to find a really good lasagna, and we do make it with regatta cheese and everything, and so we, we make our own lasagna here as well, and people are really liking it and buying them as well to take home, but it's a fun dish to make, and people really enjoy it, and it complements our sandwich, what we're doing here, along with our classic salads that we've de developed with our menu. All this from a dream. Apple pie, that's some ore. That's all right, ladies and gentlemen. We're down here at a Missouri bakery at the 2027 Edwards. It's one of the most famous bakeries in the city. As we know, we have a lot of places around here that are famous. This is just the one of them, and I'm going to show you Missouri bakery, what they're famous for. Missouri Bakery. We're down here on the hill at Missouri Bakery, and it smells. You wouldn't believe the smell in this place. Oh, madre mia, ladies and gentlemen, this is a beautiful place down here. I'm going to tell you what. Right behind me, right behind me, we have three beautiful girls. We got the Carrie, Carrie, we got the Carolina, and Maria is going to be over here in just a second. You know, they, they, have, they have a fresh baked cookies daily. There's, there's Maria. Maria just, uh, she translated a letter for me yesterday from Sicily. I got the relatives in Sicily, and she translated it for me. Thank you so much, Maria. It's a beautiful girl right here. I'm in charge of it. That's all right. Hey, listen, I'll tell you what. They, they specialize in bread, pane, we sit down here on the hill. Birthday cakes, anniversary cakes, you name it, wedding cakes, they've got it. And they're, like, busy all of the time. At the steam and humidity. And it makes the bread rise. And when it's just the right size, they pull it out. What is that? 
At the, he just threw a stick on the floor. It's called a rack stopper. It's a rack stopper. It's, this is Chris Cambaro. We got Hans over here and Paul. And we're going to see what they do with the Pinotone. Boy, this is going to be great. Get a picture of this. What, what does that Pinotone have in it? Chris? It's just fruit, raisins, and it's a, a sweet dough bread. Does it have like a dates? No dates. No dates. No dates. Citrus, citrus fruit, raisins, and it's a sweet dough. And you put them in these, these farmers here to farm the bread, right? This is going to come up this high, that high. And then, yeah, this will hold it in shape. We're going to see what these look like after they do this. Man, you just got to look at this. See how they roll this, Jimmy? Kind of. Kind of. Gently. Many, many people come down here onto the hill to, for this pontoon. This looks great. Sweeten the, sweeten the dough. You know, that's one of the, because it's a low, low sugar. We cut back the sugar than what we would put in a regular sweet dough, because the raisins help sweeten it, give it color. Well, that's great. Closing in on 70 years in business. Family owned. Family owned. That's right, for 70 years. My dear me, Setsanta Ani. My sister and I are the third generation of bakers from the family. You make, a, you make the, uh, all the cakes out here, don't you, Chris? The uh, birthday cakes and wedding cakes and uh, uh, anniversary cakes? My main responsibility is decorating the cakes and uh, icing and decorating the cakes and making sure they're uh, ready for sales. Buongiorno, buonasera, whatever. I got a, like I said, I got a special treat for you today on Valentino's Casa e Cucina. We're down here at Trapino's Restaurant in a Lounge. This guy right here, Sam Trapino, I've known him for like over 20 years. Beautiful, beautiful person. He, he uh, had this dream. I always said, have a dream and go with it. Go far. Had this dream about having a place on the hill. Ladies and gentlemen, Sam at Trapino. Sam, look at the camera. How you doing? How's everybody doing today? It's a beautiful morning outside, too. Fantastic. That's all right. We're down here on the hill, and Sam is making one of his famous pieces that everybody likes to know about. Everything is made from a scratch, and we're going to tell you this. Right now, he's, I guess he's like a rolling out to the... Rolling out the door right now, Keith. Yeah, what are you going to do, we're, Sam? We're going to make a large pizza here. And uh, you like anchovies, right? I you love want, anchovies. You want anchovies, a little sausage, a little pepperoni, That's and some right. onion. That's all right. Okay. A little anchovies, a little yeah. Onion. What else? And uh, we're going to put on, we use Provel cheese, we slice it up in Parmesan cheese. And it comes out pretty good. We make our own sauce, our own dough, and everything. Speaking yeah, of, we got a roller, but it's in the shop right now getting fixed. So <laughs> we're doing it by hand right now. Doing it the hard way. Doing, doing it the way, the way I used to do it when I was little. That's right. How long have you been doing it in business here? My parents been. We've been here for about six months now. My parents have been in business for over 40 years. Mm -hmm. And so it's nothing new. We had a place in North St. Louis, up in Walnut Park, for years before the highway came through. Highway 70 up on Bircher and King's Highway. Your mother's right, right, right there behind you. Yeah, she's, she's over there. Ladies and gentlemen, beautiful person, Gina Trapino. Gina Trapino, please. Vinny Cobb, por favor. This is, this is Gina. I've known her. I haven't seen this lady like in 15 years. She's a beautiful, beautiful senora. Where's your family from? Well, my family, uh, my dad is from uh, uh, San Giovedrito and my uh, husband's from Partenico. In, in and he Sicily. was he was born there. My husband was born there. My parents were both born there, and they came here. And you had a, you had a dream, and you came over here with like a, your husband, and then they oh, you had a place. Yes, we had a great place. My husband built it from scratch, broke ground. My husband and I, we built the place on Bircher and Kings Highway, across the street from the Penrose Park. Penrose Park. And we, now we're down here. Like a dream would come true, down here on the hill. On the which hill. Which I'm sure, like over the years, you made many, many trips down here. Right. This is this is beautiful, a beautiful community, neighborhood. It is. Down here. It's very beautiful, and it's, let's hope that we keep it up and better it yet than what it is. Darling, yeah. how's my fresh? 
precious little brother. <laughs> Let me come home if you miss me. I would even let Aunt Bertha hug and kiss me. year we were up at Norwood Country Club with the Italian Open and we got a chance to meet Bill Frisella. We also have an opportunity today to have him with us. So we're going to, I'm going to turn this mic over to Bill Frisella and we're going to talk a little bit about the Italian Open and Chow Bella here in St. Louis. Uh, thank you Keith. Uh, the t-shirts that Keith is talking about is the Columbus Collection and Tony Intagliata and myself, who's my partner, uh, we designed these t-shirts with charity organizations in mind as a uh, source of uh, revenue for their favorite uh, fundraiser. And uh, with this, uh, we'll show you some of the t-shirts here. This first one here is called the Santa Maria. And uh, it's a high quality, 100% cotton. It's almost a, uh, a polo shirt quality. The quality is just unbelievable. Give them a towel. Through the 
just tremendous. Who are some of the people that are here? I saw Mickey Carroll here. Uh, well, Mickey Carroll, he supports us every year. That's the uh, the Wizard of Oz. He played the little, uh, who was that? The Munchkin. The Munch, Munchkin, right there, the Munchkin. Hey, Mickey, Mickey you want to say hello? Mickey Carroll, can you give us a little follow the yellow brick road? Oh, my, my name is Mickey Carroll, Harvard 48. Right. Yale nothing. <laughs> and I was in the Wizard of Oz in 1938. I think I got underwear older than you. <laughs> and I played the part of the coroner. I pronounced the wicked witch dead, and I said, follow the yellow brick road. It's nice being here at the Italian Open, and uh, now I'm going to talk Italian all day. When it's uh, St. Patrick's Day, I say the top of the morning to you. Yeah. But now I get into it. Hey, Mickey, what is your nationality? I'm Italian, way back. I bet not too many people know that. Yeah, my dad and my mom, my dad was a policeman. He came over when he was 19 years old. And when you're a policeman in Italy, you, you get married, you can't be on the force. I think he was 22 years old when he got out. And it, when he got married, he had to get out, so he came came to America, and then when he died when I was seven years old, my dad came over here in 1911, man, he would be 110 years old today. Uh, he was a sculptor from Carrara, Italy. Oh, he made a tiny marble. marble, and he made a chiseler out of me. Oh, and, and, and people are dying to get my business, too. No, I've been in, in my, our family's been in it since uh, 1886 in Italy. My dad went back about 30 years ago to Rome and Carrara, Italy, where the marble comes from, and he said, they haven't moved a thing since he left. They live the same way, and it's quiet and beautiful. And uh, But he goes back to visit. He said, America's the greatest. Oh, yeah. It's greatest. Sure. Nice being here with you, and uh, just a uh, beautiful occasion. We raise funds for kids. I raise funds every, I've raised a million dollars a year in uh, charities for kids. Well, I so I keep that. busy, I keep busy. I know you do. Yeah, uh, no. You don't have to applaud for me tonight. I get paid. <laughs> this uh, this man supported the Italian Open for years and years. And uh, tell them, uh, tell the folks out there what you've donated this year. You know, it's the uh, nice fig the uh, photos of the. Yeah, we we always donate something. But I, I left coming at the auction, and I came to this auction, and I'm going to bid and, and raise. A Last time I was here uh, at the dinner. I spent $1,500, but I go to every golf tournament at the auction. I always spend $15,000, $2,000 to raise. I, sp I really donate a 30000 a year for kids. And if it's for kids, I'm there. And, and not only that, you know why I donate all this money? Three years ago, they taxed my Social Security. I get 8000 a year. So I figured I better donate it for a good cause, you know? <laughs> and, I, and, and for four years, I, I'm my own boss, and I never made myself a check out. Well, that's great. Ain't that great? I give it all to charity. But I love it. I love it. God love you, Mickey. Thanks a lot. And thank you. Thank you. They're just a lot of fun. Giuseppe Adotta. Adotta. Como stai? Molto bene. You know, he, he is the husband of Rosa Dota, who is the president of the North County American Italian Seniors Club. I hope you got to see that show with Rosa Dota and Joe Campagna, who's a real good friend of mine also, as well as Joe's here. Joe, what do you think about today's festival? I think it's beautiful. Beautiful. Uh, you know, the people come together to help out the Shrine of St. Joseph? That's right. That's right. Wouldn't be for all these people, there wouldn't be nothing here. Yo, uh, let's uh, let's say goodbye to the folks with a very special song. What's the name of that song? Vicino Mare. Regino Mare. Vicino Mare. Sing a little, take a little bit of it, folks. Vicino Mare, facciamo amore, a core, core. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's so beautiful. It gives me goosebumps. <laughs> what was the name of that song that you sang up to the North County American Italians for the uh, anniversary? Oh. Do you remember what it was? Yeah. Parla mi d'amore. Go ahead, sing, sing that one. You know that one. All right. Here, let me hold the mic. Parla mi d'amore, Mario. Tutta la mia vita sei tu. Gli occhi tuoi belli brillano. Parlami d'amore, 
love you. Bravo, bravissimo. So let's say goodbye to everybody out there. Il Signore di Benedici from Joe Adotta and Quito Valentino at the Shrine of St. Joseph's. Arrivederci. 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 That's right. Beautiful. E L A N E. Mulane. She's the one. She's the one. She's got all the information on this church. I was on the phone with her for an hour. Beautiful lady. She's anything you want to know about this church, she can tell you. Yeah. Father Valentine. Thanks, Keto. And Father Kenist. Thank God you bless much. you. Thank you very much. Same to you. Il Signore te Benedici. Let's say goodbye to all the folks out there at home. I know. Bless all of you. Thank you. Come back to the shrine often. Okay. Grazie, grazie a tutti. Io sono Tito Valentino e questa è Casa e Cucina. Everyone, thank you for tuning in today and thank you very much for watching. We're on every week. So, until next time. Ciao, arrivederci, ci vediamo. Ci vediamo, addio, il programma è venuto, tanti auguri a tutte voi, ci vediamo presto nel prossimo programma, sì sì sì, è vero, addio a tutte, ciao! Te benedetto.